have a photoresistor connected to source voltage. We have a 1 kilo ohm resistor connected to ground. Both of them form a voltage divider, a resistor divider, to the input pin of the thyristor. The thyristor consists of an NPN uh, transistor and a PNP transistor that will keep each other powered when you remove a current from the input pin. They are applying power to the LED. The LED is connected to a resistor, a 100 ohm resistor that's connected to ground. You'll notice there is a wire connecting the thyristor to the voltage source. So when light shines on the photoresistor, the voltage of the input pin rises enough to turn on the, the thyristor. The thyristor will power the LED, and the thyristor will keep itself powered. If you cover up, or excuse me, if you break the circuit of the thyristor, it no longer has current flowing through it, so it can't keep itself on. You can cover up the photoresistor, complete the circuit again. There isn't current flowing through the thyristor because the voltage to the input pin is too low. As soon as you uncover the photoresistor, the voltage to the input pin rises, current flows, thyristor turns on, passes current through the LED, the LED lights. Now when you cover the photoresistor again, the voltage of the input pin drops, but the thyristor is keeping itself powered, so the LED will stay on. The only way to turn the system off is to break the circuit by, say, removing the LED, and when you reconnect it, it is off.